What's up guys, this is Proderate TV and it's an exciting day at LDN 19. That's right, we've got Petter checking. Yes. We talk about him signing to FEMA. So stay tuned. Let it go viral, moonwalking in the box, I am so Michael. What's up guys, it's your boy Lionel. And it's your boy Andrew. And we're here with man, number one Arsenal stopper, Petter Check. So you just signed for Puma. In the Eva Power boot and the Eva Power glove. I'm happy because uh, I've been training with the with the products for a few weeks now, and I'm obviously delighted that we find this opportunity to you know to connect to have the partnership because I'm really happy with the product. With the you know for me the main part is the glove, but obviously you need your boots as well because uh, nowadays you need to be sure that you can play. But to be fair, we saw you skin Jamie Vardy on the weekend, so. So we've got a little game for you. We're going to take you back down memory lane and I'm going to show you a few of your highlights, a few pictures. Are you ready for this? Um, Do you know what we're going to call this as well? Time oh, check. Time, time check. check. Oh. Oh, yeah. so. so this... So cute. This so is the first day at school. <laughs> so really? First grade. This is what you do when you have a first, uh, first day at school. You look excited. Then you do this, uh, you know, Nice picture to you, remember the you, first day. So this is this is uh, this is actually really me. Yeah. You need a <laughs> right here. We've got a baby face Peter's pet check. At this age, did you know you want to wanted to become a footballer? No, <laughs> nothing at all. What did you uh, want to be? I had no age? idea. I don't know. Okay. You know, when I was at this age, probably I wanted to work in a zoo. Okay, in but you didn't know that in a zoo. With there tigers, you know, all right. these all these well, big cats. Well, we've done some digging ourselves, and we found out at a young age you were originally a striker. I was here. Yeah. What made you change your position to a goal? It was an accident, actually. I ended up in a, I ended up in goal by accident. We had a game. We had two goalkeepers. None of them turned up for the game, so somebody had to play in goal. Do you remember the score for of one the game? game? No, I did very well. I think it was uh, four two. Four two. We, we, no, we lost for two. Oh. It's still not bad for. Yeah. But I played my and the, we played against the team which was much older than we were. So yeah. and I did well. I, I just remember the next day I came. To the training ground, they my coaches were fighting. One wanted me to stay in goal, one wanted me to continue playing. Well, yeah. it's obvious that you made the right decision. Yeah, right goal. decision now, man. Well, All right, I, I, so I had no other choice. I said. <laughs> so picture, there we go. A nice cup. Oh, oh. a nice cup. <laughs> right, go, so. At a club that shall not be named, Don't name uh, you became one of the best keepers in the world, breaking all types of records. But we want to take you to this night. What was it like winning the Champions League? I, I have to I have to admit, the, the 48 hours prior to the game is nothing to enjoy. Uh, yeah. I can tell you, there's nothing to enjoy. Is you it? have so much pressure, expectations on yourself. You put it in the pressure like we have to win. <laughs> And you know that it takes you so long to get there. So you know they have those 90 minutes and if you get it wrong, you might never have a chance again. So this is what is, uh, you know, coming to the game is not really the best thing. You want to rest. Usually people have nap in the afternoon. Yeah. They never sleep because they, <laughs> because they, they just so can't do it. You have so many stuff. things in your mind. Yeah. But then uh, during the game, obviously, you concentrate on what you're doing. You, you know, have focus, concentration. Really, I, I know that, uh, you know, you feel really kind of like tired thing, you know, of, of the focus. But uh, then at the end of the game where you manage to do it, yeah. then is the ultimate, you know, happiness right. and Could you satisfaction. That? People keep asking about how it, does it feel. I don't think you can describe it. I think I'll be too weak to hold the, to hold the trophy. I'll be I, like, I have to say the first 30 seconds when when DJ scored, I didn't know what to do. Yeah, yeah. And it's the that first time in my life that happened that you just scored, a, you know, you know you did it and you yeah. don't know what to do. That's it. And this, is, this says it all actually. Alright, so our next picture. Next picture is my favourite picture. Look at you in that Arsenal jersey, looking fly as hell. Yes, love that. <laughs> so now, obviously, at one of the biggest clubs in the world. And uh, obviously, going forward, we've got a big season ahead of us. Uh, how confident do you feel about this season? And do you feel like it's our year? Well, we started slowly, mm -hmm. to keep it polite. <laughs> and um, I have to say that we, we worked very hard during the pre-season. Mm -hmm. 
and, and obviously we are not we are not happy with our two first uh, results because uh, we we should have done better and we worked so so hard during the preseason to you know to have a better outcome from the first two games but I have to there is 36 more games to be played exactly. and it's up to us to you know to to catch up now we we gave the others a little advantage but. Uh, we have 36 games to overcome uh, five points, which is not a problem. The, the, the way you do it doesn't really matter as long as you get to 90 points. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is the target and we need to make sure that we, we get that. It's a good picture. Nice picture. Oh, I like this one. So, I like this one. as you can see, we've, we've dug up a picture of you drumming. Yeah. What is your favourite cover to play? I'm a big fan of Dave Grohl. Yeah. Okay. So basically, you know, it came from Nirvana, and there, there are a lot of uh, Nirvana songs which are really fun to play. Foo Fighters, obviously. Okay. I kind of enjoy listening to any kind of music, and even different, you know, style of music on the drums makes you, you know, uh, I was going to say happy because you know the variety of music you play, it's kind of becomes more fun. So I can play any anything. It looks like it was Christmas here. Yeah. This is a yeah, Christmas. Yeah, Actually, Christmas this carol. is a Christmas carol. Yeah, yeah Christmas carols, alright. We were doing that uh, kind of like for, for Christmas. Yeah. You think teach us? Teach us a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. If you're ready to practice uh, every day, fine. Every day. <laughs> so that's your hobby outside of Christmas. Okay, that's it. That's it. Okay. So it's obviously a religion we do. And now that you're here at Odeon 19, you have to take on either me or Andrew at Two Touch. We're gonna to go rock, paper, scissors. Yeah. Are you I, think, that, Jack, I don't think you're ready to Are you ready for this? Well, you can, you know, you decide who we wants to, who wants to get beaten and then you oh, take it. Oh, fighting <laughs> words. <laughs> right, we know you're fancy with the hands, but we want to see if the tech is in the feet there. Yeah, you ready? Three, Just the one, yeah? One, three, yeah. two, one. Oh, I look, what? I won for once. I, I was one for once. This, you know. With my guy Petr Cech, he thinks he can beat me at two touch. So let's get popping. Yeah, let's, let's do go. it. Do you want to start? You can start. Okay, let's do it. What? Ooh! Oh! You set me up. <laughs> you saved me, sir. Ooh! We're going to come back now. No. One ring. Yeah! I should have done better than this. <laughs> I have to be honest. <laughs> Did it. Didn't expect that. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. Yep. Ooh. Hey, hey. Oh, right, fine, fine, fine. I can take it, no problem. I, I take this one here. Yeah. No problem, I should I could have done it. <laughs> okay, let's go. Who? Oh! <laughs> Thank you, man. Well done. Well, you saw Petrick beat me at two touch. What can I say? I thought we were friends, but we were not. <laughs> That's a wrap today, guys. We have Pet Check in the house and Bad Andrew at Two Touch. I only lost by four, bro. Yeah, well, but until next time, guys, I've been Lionel. I've been Andrew. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Peace. Peace.